beauties welcome to a new video I am really excited about today's video because it's gonna be a little bit of a life update I haven't done an actual life update uh, for quite some time now and this one is going to focus a lot more in career because I feel like uh, predominantly the community that is made up of sweet soul is uh, a lot of women in their late 20s early to mid 30s and we're all like you know, finding ourselves through life or we have some careers already going for us or we're making transitions um, into other career paths. So first and foremost, I feel like we should start. Um, I don't know if you guys are going through a phase in your life where you are no longer happy doing what you've been doing for a really long time. That was the case for me. I was a beauty expert in the beauty community for 13 years and that was my title. That was the role that I was playing for so long. Naturally, I just started kind of just following the next thing that just started coming my way and eventually it turned out to be that I became a beauty expert, an influencer, um, a blogger for 13 years of my life. And so I haven't really spoken about this big career change in my life um, on Sweet Soul. I made my last departure video from my old YouTube channel and I spoke about how the reason that I just did it, I was closing that YouTube channel is because I didn't see myself growing there anymore. And honestly, I just really needed a really big break because I was just trying to figure out my life. So I was not happy being um, a quote unquote influencer anymore. And I was like, I really just found myself not having a lot of time or actually not making any time to sit down and really talk about makeup and product reviews like I used to back in the day. And so I found myself more interested in spending my time learning about spirituality and meditation and um, learning about cacao and ancestral wisdom and learning about just my intuition and tuning into myself and a lot of my free time, if not all of my free time, aside from spending time with my family, it was devoted to journaling and healing my own past traumas that I feel like have been keeping me in a small little box. And as a Leo, I do not like to be in a little box. I don't like to follow the crowd. I like to be an individual. I love being an individual. I love doing my own thing, dressing my own way. Um, everything about me, I don't like, I just like doing my own thing. To keep up as an influencer, you kind of had to start following all the trends and really just look at what everybody else was doing and just do your own version of it. And I felt a little fraudulent doing that. So I found that I was just not doing a lot of content anymore. So I really wasn't showing up for my other community and um and that took a toll you know that definitely took a toll so i made the really really huge move in february of this year this is the year that i decided um and i think it has to i had to do a lot with me having a second child and having another baby and feeling like i also lost a big part of myself um I decided to just follow my dreams and follow my passion because I want to live a passionate life. I remember actually I was doing a Target haul and this was like one of the last YouTube videos I was gonna do for my other YouTube channel before I knew it was the last one and everything was so forced. Like nothing was coming together. Like setting up the lighting became something that I was like fighting against. Um, nothing was flowing smoothly. Things that usually flow really nicely, even like the way that I looked on camera or just speaking about like, you know, fashion accessories or whatever, it didn't excite me anymore. So I found that I was sitting, I was spending so much of my time setting up lights that didn't want to be set up. Um, and then finding trying to find the energy within myself to be excited talking about like a hair clip and i was like this is not what i want to do with my life like what if i die tomorrow i s literally spent my last afternoon doing something that i don't want to be doing and so that was the last time that i'm like this is this is it i i can't continue to live this way because i want to live and continue to live a life full of passion and that brings me so much happiness and also being creative which is why i did open up a new youtube channel because 
It allows me to connect with you guys, which is my number one passion. And it allows me to express my creativity through creating YouTube videos, um, all that like every like the formats that the formats that I create for my YouTube channel for the videos and like the editing process and all of that stuff I love to put it all together and you guys have seen that I'm just so much more excited and passionate about doing all of this so with that being said um I took the risk and I knew that if I quit my other YouTube channel a lot of branded deals were going to stop flowing in the beauty realm because I no longer necessarily considered myself a beauty influencer anymore. And so that was my livelihood. And it still is, you know, still is my livelihood. Um, but the beautiful thing about just trusting and having faith and taking that leap of faith is that when you are in alignment with the path that you truly desire, you will be supported because that has been proof to me throughout this time where there is a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of changes within my actual team and within my personal life my relationships there every little element has been changing because i feel like you can't just give up one part like you can't just give up a big career and pursue another one and still hold on to toxic elements or things that are just like not in alignment with the path that you are pursuing now so i feel like that's something really really important that I learned is that you can't just give that up. It's about changing everything, changing the way that you see yourself, the way that you speak to yourself, your mindset, um, the way that you eat, the way that you work out, how you see your body, um, not caring what other people think, expressing your opinion, speaking up, using your voice, um, having your needs met however they can be met and um, everything like the lifestyle your lifestyle changes the way that you communicate I mean everything started changing and I had no idea all of that was gonna happen with just me deciding that enough was enough I'm not happy doing this and I'm just going to do something else and the thing is like YouTube is such a big part of my life it's like a huge part it's literally like spirituality my family and sweet soul which is sweet soul you know consists of like youtube and the instagram and the journals and the jewelry and like all of the the stuff that goes around it all the creative stuff so it's a huge part of my life like that's literally all i spend my my life doing right now and i'm happy i love doing that you know because it, i want to do this i want to sit here today and speak to you guys and create content and see the brand growing and expanding and hiring new team members and playing big you know I think also being Latina like a lot of times we have imposter syndrome and we feel like we don't fit in certain circumstances or in certain places I know I've dealt with that that's a whole different conversation uh, but not being afraid to hire like the best of the best because the old me used to think like why why would I have like an amazing launch party? Why would I have like the best photographer or the best um, creative director? Like I never saw myself playing big like that. And um, I got to a, you know, I got somewhere pretty, I, I did pretty well even with that mentality. So now that I have a more expanded awareness and I am so much more um, in tune with how to really manifest my life and what I'm doing now like it's it, it excites me because I feel like I am just so much more powerful because of my expanded awareness so it's really exciting it's really exciting stuff even for example like the name for sweet soul I haven't spoken about it here and I'll probably do it like in a like a trailer video that I want to do for this channel but sweet soul came to me through divine intervention okay this is how i'm starting to see my business now before i never really saw it this way and now that i see it in this different kind of light it gives it a whole different kind of meaning and purpose so i was walking into my beauty room and this was before i got pregnant but i already had the embryos frozen i believe so i have a female embryo and I had two male embryos. So now I have one female and one male frozen embryo now that we had Aaron. And I was walking into my room and I had an altar right in front of me. I was walking in and all of a sudden the name Alma Dulce, which is sweet soul in Spanish, Alma Dulce came to my mind. And it just like dropped. It's like God just like sprinkled Alma Dulce 
and I did not know what that meant. I thought it actually was going to be the name for my daughter and I thought, is this my like my daughter telling me like I want my name to be Alma Dulce? So I burst down in tears in that moment. I was so excited and so taken aback by like this incredible download that just came to me from God. And I wrote the name on a piece of paper and I put it on my altar and every day that I would look at it, I was like, Alma Dulce, like that's the name of my daughter, Alma Dulce. And so I have a new name for my daughter now, but long story short, Alma Dulce actually ended up becoming the name for my brand, Sweet Soul. Uh, but I feel like Sweet Soul is an entity, right? That's how I start, started to see my business recently, an entity, because that's how it came to me. It's like my entity, the business, the energy of my business, of the mission of what Sweet Soul is, it came through divine intervention. It came directly from, directly from source into my mind. And now I feel like I have the responsibility to give it life because Sweet Soul cannot exist without my physical energy without me physically being here and it's given my business so much more meaning because now i know that it definitely is here to serve a bigger purpose a life's mission because it has a soul you know it's an actual energy i communicate with my business as it's a her it's a female of course it's a mermaid too <laughs> Um, and I communicate with her through my journal and I, we speak and we talk like, what message do you want me to deliver today? Like, what, um, what are we going to do today? What are we going to post today? Like, what do you want me to do right now? How do you want me to move? How do you want me, what do you want me to create next? And I think that's really important to start seeing our businesses, um, as a spirit, as an entity as well, because it truly is that, you know? And for me, it, it excites me because I feel like, like business should be done in a different way from my personal experience because I hate the cutthroat type of business where people are like all about numbers and like they give attention to someone who has like, you know, more millions of subscribers. And then if you don't have subscribers, they kind of like put you in the back burner. It's kind of like a, it, it's, it is like that. You know, the people who have like the most subscribers are like at the top, they're elite. And then the people who are beginning, they're looked at like you're not as important. And that's such a lie. And that bothers me so much because there's so many incredible people and I hate that there's like a hierarchy just because of a freaking number, you know? So I don't move about like that with my business. Like my business is soul centered, is heart centered. It's about caring about people and their emotions and not looking at people as like a financial gain or just an opportunity or like, what can I get from you? Like I, that vibe, I detest that vibe a hundred and thousand ten percent and i can't work with people who work like that anymore you know because it's just like it's just not aligning anymore you know and not everybody is like that of course people see business in a whole different way and that's fine but what i have found and what i spoke about in my last video also is that you attract your community like my sweet soul community you guys that are here you guys see the same thing for the most part of course we don't all see eye to eye in everything um but we have a lot of commonalities and a lot of things that we share that we can relate to on a very personal level which is also really exciting to see sweet soul evolving into that the last thing that i wanted to talk about is when you make the change to go from one career to the next one you might have been like an expert or like at the top of your game if you've heard these stories so many times where someone who's just killing it in whatever they're doing, real estate or whatever it is, they give it all up and they, their family thinks that they're crazy. Like, what are you doing? This is so secure. You were a doctor. Now you're going to be an artist. Like, what are you doing? Those people and you hear these story and that's why they inspire me so much because I've read so many stories of people who have given up this type of lifestyle to pursue their their passion and their life's work and they've never been happier and it doesn't mean that because you switch from something that you were at the top of your game that you're not going to be at the top of your game in the next one no 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 actually you're going to do even better you know why because you have grown and you have so much more experience so do not be afraid to make that change if you are not happy in the career that you're currently at don't be afraid because you have grown and expanded so much. And now you're going to take that energy and all that growth 
into this new business venture, into this new career path, into this new passion that you're pursuing. And so with that said, I think it's important to also kind of step back and journal, which is what I did, and think about what is your role now? What is the role that you are playing? You went from being an expert, right? Like for me, I went from that and now I'm a student. And being a student is so exciting because this is where you learn so much. Even if you start studying something that you kind of know stuff already, if you approach it with like a student mindset, you're going to absorb and learn so much. And that is where I am right now. Like I spend my time with Sweet Soul and I also have a list in my agenda of all of the classes that I'm taking from herbalism because that's connected to another business venture that I want to pursue in the future. So I want to make sure that all of my time I'm spending building the strong foundation so I am prepared when that opportunity comes my way because it is coming my way. I already see it. I, I know that I can just make anything happen. That's how I see things. I can make anything happen. So right now I am a student and I am spending a lot of time learning about energies and frequencies and the law of attraction, meditation, uh, a lot of business classes as well through uh, master class or Mind Valley. Uh, just elevating my mindset and the way that I see the world and my thinking, upgrading my habits, my morning routines, my rituals, just really taking myself to the next level because I see myself, I don't know when, because God is going to, obviously, it's all within divine timing, which is one of my favorite things that I've learned also this month, is divine timing, you know? So I'm a student and it's so exciting to be a student. I get so passionate about it. I'm like so, so passionate about it. And I see myself um, being a teacher in the future. But right now I am not in a position just yet to teach anything. <laughs> um, well, some stuff, yes, you know, but um, it's really cool just to see my path unfolding and the more that I pursue those little interests that you think might have nothing to do with what you want to do with your life but the, if you give it attention I am telling you those are the little breadcrumbs that the universe is dropping right in front of you so you can pick them up and take the action and lead that way. I am living my life's purpose right now as I am and if I were to be gone tomorrow, um, I feel really fulfilled because my days are full of passion and um, love and just learning and accepting myself and bettering all the little things that I see within myself that are maybe not so positive that are that might be holding me back you know so I feel really content with my life right now and I am fully supported and I see a really really bright future for myself and I hope that you guys are able to see that for yourself as well um, it's a really exciting path you know when you're really pursuing your life uh, for me also, a lot of things slowed down, which gave me some anxiety at one point in this journey since February, because when you give up something that is so secure and that has just providing for you in so many ways, a lot of things just stopped. And it was like radio silence, you know, like I heard nothing and I became a little uncomfortable with like, there is nothing to do right now, you know? Like I, I love working. Um, doing things that I love and working for me does not have a negative connotation whatsoever because I just grew up working and it's just what I've seen my dad and my mom do so it's I love it I actually love 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 because work is it, work takes me to where I want to be but I'm not hating what I do also you know so that's why work doesn't have a negative connotation I just really want to encourage you guys to take that leap of faith because um, I know you can and I know that you can find a way to start making that pivot in your life. It doesn't have to be as drastic as like one day to the other like I did, but you can start to do little things each and every single day that are gonna get you closer and closer to your, to that life that you truly desire to be living out right now. And I have some dreams that I just cannot live out today or even like within the next few months or maybe, maybe I will, I don't know, who knows what God has in store. But I see myself, um, and I'm not going to give away my whole vision, but I see myself, um, I, I look up to certain people, like spiritual voices, uh, women of color, and they already have like 13 years of experience under their belt doing what I just started doing right now, and they're just 
popping off right now, you know? So I know it's going to be a journey and that excites me because that's why I am doing my best to fill up my time with just learning and mastering things that I feel are calling me where I feel like I can be a teacher, you know? So there's actually this really incredible retreat coming up uh, with Deepak Chopra and it's so expensive though, but I'm really excited about it. Um, haven't really made up my mind if it's if I'm actually gonna go. It's in Rancho uh, Palos Verdes, which is in one of my favorite resorts. And um, it's coming up and I actually see myself in the future as one of the teachers on a retreat of that scale, if not having my own, you know? Uh, but right now, like, I just can't tap into that world yet because there's so much learning, so, mu so much that I have to not just learn intellectually, but actually embed it into my soul and feel it emotionally, which is where I feel like you do the most learning. So that's what I just wanted to kind of talk about, you know, like just tell you guys where I am in my life and look back at this video in many, many years from now or who knows when and uh, just kind of document where I am, you know, like what is happening? How is my life evolving from going from one career and paving the way to another one? And I don't even know what career I am going towards because being an influencer, the same thing. I, this is something that was created as I went along and I just said yes to opportunities, you know? So that's what makes it really exciting too. I've been saying exciting a lot, but that's how I feel. So anyways, that was all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to speak to you guys in the comments section. There's a lot of smoke because I'm burning incense in here, but I was really, really excited to come here and speak to you guys about this subject. And I can't wait to read what you guys have to say. And of course, please make sure to subscribe to Sweet Soul and follow us on Instagram. We have a 10,000 follower giveaway coming up, which I'm really excited about as well on Instagram. And then once we hit 20K, we're gonna do one here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for following and commenting and supporting. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you on our next video.